back to Karma Life Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing great. And thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have a pimple patch. I woke up with a pimple today. So I know it looks like a huge piece of pepper. Well, at least from far away, that's what it looks like. But my 17 year old hooked me up with these cute little star patches. And I'm like, that's way better than what we got going on underneath. All right. Um, if at any time you resonate with this reading, Virgo, please go ahead and hit that like button. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else so that we can prevent any confusion. I'm currently doing a giveaway. The winner will be announced April 30th. You can find the giveaway on my community tab, all right, of this YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, my darlings. And let's take a look and see... What message? September 10th is what I keep hearing in my head. So I don't know if that's someone's birthday, <clears throat> but I just saw it um, September 10th. All right, let's take a look here at the energy around Virgo, please. You have hunger. There's something that you really are like, you're wanting it or you're trying to go after something like you're very, I feel like you're very focused on what it is you want. You're trying to, yeah, passion. That makes a lot of sense. It's about what you want to create, what you want to build. You're going after something. I feel like you're feeling some type of void, love and movement. You're definitely going after something. There could have been, um, There, there may have been some type of void that was taking place inside of you spiritually and maybe it was kind of showing up in relationships or um, it could have been a love relationship, but love for me, family, friends, okay? And I feel as though there was a void and, and whatever this void is, it somehow was connecting or, or I don't want to even say connecting, it was interfering with your connections with other people and it's tied into your passion and so the way spirit is showing I, I receive everything in visions and i gotta find words for it so just bear with me what i'm seeing is there's somebody who may have not been really living in their true purpose but you were getting there and you felt like you were getting there and you were filling 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 this void this area but other connections and relationships may have been struggling or you may have not been able to put as much time or effort into them. Like, because your true love is your passion. Your true love is what you do. This is getting specific here. And it looks like things, it may look like everything is up in the air, but you're going to start to see sudden and quick movement towards whatever it is you've been wanting to fulfill. And it's almost like everything starts to just align and come together, Virgo. Love family, work, it just nicely starts to come into place because of the focus and intention that you've been, been placing on it. Current energy around you is the five of cups, which would make sense for the hunger, feeling a void, feeling like something is missing, which is what probably catapults you into movement and creating this. All right, what is falling away from Virgo? What does Virgo need to let go of here the queen of cups surrender emotionally detach from situations so that you can let them be what you need to develop and your soul gift is the two of pentacles flexibility spirit wants you to focus on the five of swords there's some type of headache around you manipulation it's lack of truth so i don't know who's not telling the truth we're going to get into that the outcome is scorpio energy with death and rebirth that's what it looks like to me too it's like a whole transformation from the inside out on the bottom you have the devil with the six of swords and the knight of pentacles with your inner or no seven of swords i thought that was a hermit and the nine of cups Ooh, you're walking away from something that has been keeping you in the dark or keeping you in some type of cycle for a long time. It may have to do with family and or commitment here, Virgo. Okay. 
somebody else has been calling the shots or some there's some type of control that has to be released here because I'm seeing a lot of strings attached we've got the devil holding you like a puppet and then I've got these birds with strings leading the boat so that and I feel like all those cords are being cut Cycles, patterns, karmic behavior, thoughts, beliefs. What is this Five of Cups, please, for Virgo? What is this Five of Cups, please? Triumph. So there's sadness or an emptiness over a victory. Real estate. Feeling like something was a loss. Promise. Huh. Compromise. So this is within a partnership and or a relationship. Some type of um, investment, okay, could be affecting your wealth and your money, but there's a lot of sadness because it feels as though there was a loss. Again, it's like somebody isn't happy. And now it's taken me back to a reading that I did for you guys. Gosh, this is a while ago, maybe even before the new year, where somebody here was still feeling empty and unhappy, even though they had such a beautiful life physically around them, there was something inside that needed to be filled. And maybe that's what I'm seeing here with the hunger. It's like you've got all this success around you, but this five of cups is underneath this sadness, this longing, this regret. It's almost like an empty win. Somebody doesn't feel like they're winning. You have the numbers 19 and 28, 10. So a, a big cycle here is coming to an end, clarify. So there could have been a promise. I'm seeing there could have been a relationship here, like a marriage, a commitment, or a partnership that didn't, that didn't make it. As, as long as you thought, or it's not turning out the way that you thought. And that sadness seems to be a focus right now. Yeah, you have pearl, cancer energy. Your perception is changing as much as you don't, as much as we don't like to go through pain, this was a way to develop your character, okay? Um, a lot of opening up, a lot of honesty. I feel like your perception was changing in terms of connections and how you relate to other people. Okay, there were a lot of hidden things. And you're not quite sure how things are going to move forward in this situation. You could be dealing with an air sign or you're right on the cusp of Libra. Some Somebody here could be like um, a teacher. Or you talk a lot like a journalist, a teacher, lawyer. It says things could go either way. Everything is 50-50 right now. Everything is up in the air. This was somebody that you may have wanted a family with or thought that you were going to have a family with this person and it's just not it's not showing up to be that way. Somebody's too much in their ego here with Castle. Hmm. And I, I do sense that you held this person to a certain standard. And I feel like pride is going to be the downfall, or pride is the downfall of what's going on. It's somebody's pride. Call Yeshua into your heart to shine light on darkness. You are a healer. Stop doubting your gifts. And this person likes to trigger you emotionally. Do not react. So that's why they're telling you to call Yeshua into your heart so that he can stabilize you while you deal with this person's attacks. It's like this person is a manipulator. They may not even realize that's what they're doing. A lot of times if people aren't awake, they're doing it subconsciously. They just think it's a normal way of being, especially with the devil here. There could be a lot of conflict because this person keeps putting you in some type of compromising situation or they're compromising the connection and the relationship that you have with them. Why is the Queen of Cups something that Virgo needs to release, please? Justice and calm. Yeah, this is um, Libra energy. So 
Spirit's trying to get you to surrender so that in the face of a storm, this is natural disaster, but it's about frustration, that you can remain at peace and have inner peace. And so <clears throat> when we allow when we allow the most high to come in and take control of our life and our situation, we do experience a, a peace that is unlike anything we've ever experienced. And in the midst of chaos, we can remain very calm, centered and balanced and be able to make the proper decisions without kind of flying off the handle and, and, and causing a, a more detrimental outcome, right? To our well-being. I feel like you are trying to stay neutral in a situation but it's very hard for you because this person does whatever this person is doing to you it does trigger you emotionally okay um but with justice here and the devil this is a part of a karmic cycle and lesson that your soul wanted to experience so that it could reach this inner peace, so that you could reach this understanding of being calm and surrendering. Because there, I feel like there's not much left that you're going to be able to do with this situation in the physical. Like it's now time for the situation to transition into energy and into the spiritual so that you can, uh, I don't wanna use the word manipulate because we're not doing anything that is negative here, but we are um, alchemizing and transforming the energy at play. Yeah, collaboration, unity, enhancement. Your work this is you working with the most high. It's about co-creating. I feel like it's also you letting go of control. What does Virgo need to let go of, please? You have emerald here. Balloons. This is about freedom. This is about releasing oneself, healing yourself, finding the deeper meaning, hidden emotions, um, looking deeper. That's why they're telling you to call Yeshua in because there's some type of sustenance that you need to keep going. Um, this is about soul restoration as well and attaining your goals. Children could be involved here. There's a brand new beginning that's going to come out of this particular situation. Let it go. Like what you are looking for, that, that void here that we were seeing with the Five of Cups, it has to do with the desire and a need for peace. And spirit is telling you the peace comes even in the middle of the chaos. You have to rise above this. You could do something within your community. You work with your community. Someone needs to take accountability here. Libra. Strong Libra energy. There could be a legal matter here. But this is a decision that you have to make. Look at this. You have Judas is near with Capricorn, which is the devil. I mean, somebody just wasn't doing right. This is somebody who was a backstabber, okay? Um, somebody who did not have positive intentions. They don't seem to be taking accountability in the situation. And now you have to make a decision on how you want to approach it. And Spirit is saying, you got to let it fall away and surrender to what's taking place because it's falling away for, for a reason. Yeah, divine inspiration. A new idea is going to be given to you. Spirit is telling you that you can go for it. And on the bottom, it says you need to practice detachment, Virgo. Separation, isolation, going within to see the deeper meaning of what's taking place. The two of pentacles is what you need to develop. This to me is flexibility. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs. I do think that you're struggling to maintain balance with a certain situation, goal, eternal love, and marionette. This is definitely some type of higher commitment. You have marriage here. And I feel like whatever this partnership is, 
the issue at hand was a control issue and somebody wanting to constantly be in control and control the outcome and control how something goes. Forgive me. I feel like I'm in this. <coughs> okay. And so there's could have been this desire to work on a situation or heal a situation with somebody. But then at the same time, there was a, a someone was reluctant to do this. And it doesn't mean that there was a lack of love in this connection. I just feel like there's there's an element of wondering, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I still doing this? And spirit is wanting you to come into a space. I feel like someone's emotions all, are all over the place, okay? Because I feel all over the place right now when I'm trying to connect. And what spirit is showing me on what needs to be developed is you don't always have to be in control of others in the situation, Virgo, but you do need to maintain control of your emotions and the love that you provide, right? Like unconditional love, giving someone grace. Especially with apology on the bottom. And then I see like going in, I see counseling here. Aid, help, mercy, charity. But somebody's pride gets in the way of them being coached or helped through a situation. There could also be an element here of somebody bullying another person. Or just like, you know, saying whatever they want to say. And that creates more damage in the situation than not. And so maybe that's why you're reluctant to continue to work on this or to go towards it. Yeah, because the number 15, that's six. So that's transitioning away. Why does Virgo need to develop this? What is this about? Swords and scales. That would be the two of pentacles. There really could be legal issues here, but it's like somebody needs to make amends in a situation and and like it's almost like hear me out somebody wasn't playing fair that's why spirit is asking you to develop the ability to to detach emotionally and pull back and look at it hear me out. I'm just a messenger because what spirit is showing me is like, Hey, we've both done things or there's, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, my hands aren't clean in this either. You have roses. Yeah. This could be in, in regards to a friendship, a relationship, love, a longing for somebody. A decision needs to be made. Are we going to remain friends? Are we going to, to, burn this the friendship down is it over strong libra energy coming through almost every card yeah conclusion what's the outcome what's gonna happen making a decision in regards to this relationship and spirits like you've got to come to a a, a choice instead of going back and forth and you've got to make a decision that if this is what i'm doing and then hold into that. If it's you going forward and working on it, stick to that. If it's you leaving, stick to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pioneer, boldness, destination or bust. Let's take a look. Yeah, because you got a backstabber. Judas is near. You have to listen also to your discernment, okay? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. And I feel like there's somebody's loyalty is being questioned here. You need to slow down, no need to rush. This is really about making the decision on whether or not you want to move forward with a person or situation or not. Because right now, it's showing that it's toxic and that this is a karmic relationship. It's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of pain, family issues, um, conflict, betrayal, stuck and unable to move forward. So really feeling as though you, you're being taken advantage of here and you're not quite sure. They're definitely dealing with their own karmic energy. If this is something that you want to move forward with or how to handle this situation, okay? Strong fire energy and you could be moving. 
Spirit wants you to focus on this five of swords. How does this person, like, what are your conversations like with this situation? Because they, they look like it's nothing but conflict. It's a headache. It's a heartache. It's constant. It's a constant battle. There's a lot of manipulation. There's somebody who always has to have the last jab because they want to be on top. You have adventure, focus on perseverance. Fate and homelessness. So somebody's afraid of getting kicked out or being homeless or not having anywhere to go if this continues up. Like they they may not have any family here either. Like maybe you're their only family. This I also feel like there could be some type of verbal abuse, mental, emotional abuse that's coming through in this situation. And this has been quite an, a, an adventure for you. Like you keep going through this and spirit also wants you to focus on how far you've come. Because I feel like you've endured a lot when it comes to this particular situation. The number eight showing up again. So just understand that this has been a karmic cycle and karmic lesson that you're going through. Like it's not a coincidence, right? This is something that you signed up for, for your soul growth. This is all going to come to head this summer between Cancer, Leo, and Virgo season. So again, with the Libra energy, somebody here has a victim mentality and they're not really looking at the whole situation. It's always, it's just me, me, me. This person is, whoever it is, this may be you, but spirit is asking you to really review this situation because there's someone here who, this situation creates a lot of confusion because someone has tunnel vision and they refuse to gain any sort of clarity. They're very oblivious to, to what's really going on. They're out of touch with reality. And then you have diamond. But this situation has um, turned coal into diamonds, you. Whether you realize it yet or not, it's like however grinded down this has made you, you're going to come out shining. It's not easy. I, I do feel like somebody is, is speaking crap to me. That's what spirit, it's like I keep hearing someone just saying hurtful things to me that don't make any sense. You have repairman, child, feeling lonely, well in a relationship here, tandem bicycle with cabin. Like you feel lonely when you're in a connection. And this may be something that you don't even really tell a lot of people. Like it's just between you and this person. Purpose, higher calling, lonely at the top. Humble yourself is what spirit wants you to focus on. Yeah, family trauma wounds are rising to the surface because your outcome is death and rebirth. And then here it is with major transformation and rebirth. They want you to continue to focus on the path ahead and what you're hungry for. What is this desire? What is this dream? What is this goal? What is this passion? It looks like you have a lot going on on the outside of that that's trying to keep you stuck and held back. And so you're at this crossroads here where a cycle is ending and you're learning how to cut cords and release yourself from a situation so that you can move towards whatever it is that you've been trying to build and create for yourself. This person may not agree with your dreams or ideas or your passion either. Why is death and rebirth here for Virgo? Robbery, strategy, and withdrawal. Um, man, there's a definite uh, situation here where somebody was not being honest. <clears throat> there could have been some type of stealing of abundance or energy here with the robbery card. Somebody trying to exploit you and you're trying to come up with a plan. Like you just feel used by whoever I'm connecting to. You feel like this person used you. And now there's also this element of I can just kind of predict your next move. I can predict your your behavior. This feels so weird. Um, 
And this person may have also made you feel rejected by them. And, and it's not so much that they are rejecting you. It's literally just their choices that they make. Choices and behaviors that they make. And now you're wanting to pull away, pull your energy back from a situation. Because you're going through an awakening. Yeah, labyrinth. Wow. This is a very complex situation. And everything has been delayed. It's, it's like you have a situation and a problem that needs to be solved. A lot of you are on a spiritual journey here trying to find your way out, feeling lost in the situation. But you do have a blessing that is coming as you make your way out of this, okay? Aquarius Cancer Energy. In perfect timing, this is all going to come to. Yeah, see, some of you do like a teacher or so you do something. Humanitarian. You, you're very helpful to others, okay? But you're pulling your energy away from a situation to help alleviate suffering. Because I feel like two people are suffering. And there's a recognition that, hey, maybe our time, maybe this situation has come to an end. Maybe it's time for us to release. Maybe it's time for us, you know, to move forward. Because there's new love and abundance that's coming your way, Virgo. Capricorn energy and master manipulator. See, you're dealing with a karmic narcissistic energy here that, that may have very well been a soulmate. Soulmates aren't always meant to stay in our life forever. A lot of soulmates come in to teach us a lesson for a reason or season. And I feel like that's what's being revealed to you right now is because of the work that you've been doing, you're able to see something very clearly or see someone's intentions or how they behave, even if they're not privy to it, if they're not awake to it yet. Yeah, look, this person struggles with being uh, loyal to you. They're stuck, but you guys, you could be married or in a long-term commitment, but somebody feels stuck and bound in a very toxic situation because somebody still has karmic entities connected to them that have them, placing them in situations. It has them breaking their vows and their promises to this particular connection or partnership. All right, we're going to get a light code for you. This is the little book of light codes for closing messages, please, for Virgo. Light code for Virgo. You have Akuna. Trusting your experience. This is the image for you to meditate on. It says oneness is a concept often spoken of in spiritual, religious, and metaphysical circles. It is a familiar word, but it can be challenging to understand its true meaning. We as seekers understand generally the concept of the connection between all things and quantum physics has aided in the belief that one thing affects another through the phenomena in, engendered by entanglement. Unfortunately, we continue to try to understand these multidimensional realities of connectivity from the limited nature of our ego mind. In order to grasp the vastness and truly magical connection between all things, we must look with our hearts, not our brains, and we will never see truth without tapping in to the infinite wisdom and connection of our heart, which is why I was telling you earlier, you've got to come from a place of love in order to see why this had to happen. What has it taught you? What are you learning? And what is the, the higher process? Akuna is about trust. It is about connecting with the eternal quantum field wherein you are an individual expression of the whole. You belong. You belong everywhere with everything and the role you play is equal to the person, plant, or animal standing next to you. Akuna wishes to bring forth your trust of the oneness within you. You know that all things are connected and you will find this connection in your heart. All right, Virgo, I send you so much love while you are closing out this um, difficult cycle and lesson in your life. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will see you guys next week.